Okay, okay, here we are. So we have a happy patient and his lovely wife. And uh, you came down from South Carolina, correct? That is correct. Where you play golf and have fun. Golf. And you had bilateral monstrous opacities, correct? That is correct. Tell us what the other doctors told you. The other doctors told me that the specialist that I went to, that if they could not see the back of my eye, they didn't know how they were, that I could see through the front of the eye. And basically was told that it was just something that I would have to live with for the rest of my life. Fortunately, fortunately the answer was you didn't. <laughs> well, in one word, amazing that after just a couple treatments to have both masses removed from the eye through laser and to be able to see as clear as I can ever remember. I'm sure you saw clearer with 20 years ago. <laughs> it could have. I just don't but, remember back but, that far. Well, but I, 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 should, I should put the disclaimer in here. You had some unusual uh, floaters. These weren't just run-of-the-mill little opacities. These were large, what we call fibrillar masses. They look like big cotton balls, dead center, in your vitreous gel, obscuring the light going back. And the most important thing was it was interfering with your golf game, correctly? Golf game oh, and work. work. And, it's work. and <laughs> driving. They were driving. debilitating. Well, the golf uh, game first, work second, driving third. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's the order. Uh, it was difficult with the golf game. I never saw a tee shot go out, much less <laughs> where it would land. Okay. And it was very difficult, even as a simple thing as reading the uh, undulations in a green. Did they offer you a vitrectomy or anything like that? They when talked about it. One specialist in Charleston, South Carolina, wanted to do that, but I was advised immediately by another doctor not to go through that as there are consequences of having that type of surgery done. At our tender age, it's sort of guaranteed cataract, which means another operation. And not every operation is perfect. I, I have a motto, which is unusual for a surgeon, mm -hmm. but having had my knees operated on from ski injuries and shoulders, all, all surgery is salvage. So if you can avoid it, that's great. But laser surgery is relatively easy. It's not to say it's never without any problems, but compared to uh, cutting surgery, invasive surgery, uh, in my hands, uh, we have happy patients. It's rare Extremely to have a happy patient. Absolutely. So your happy patient, that's what we like to hear. Happy patient, happy wife. For those ophthalmologists <laughs> that are school, st still skeptical, come on down and visit. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We agree.